Okay, so today we're going to use Canvas Apps Chrome to create an animation. Uh, you can have a fish or a sea creature. That's all going to be your choice. Uh, before we get started with that, let's go over a few things in Canvas Apps. So anytime you want to start a project in Canvas Apps, you want to go to New Drawing. And that's where we're going because we're going to do our background first. So in Canvas Apps, your tools will come up along the side. Your tools will come up on the side. Um, this is a really important tool. This is your color palette. You can pick any of these colors. If you go to custom, you can create a better background because colors in the background are duller and lighter and colors in the foreground are brighter and darker. So when you use a color that's in the distance, you'll want to have a little black or gray in it, like this one. Um, if your color is in the foreground, you'll want it to be very pure, very bright. Um, and if you paint a lot, you probably already know that. So that is how you pick your colors. Now, I'm, I'm going to make a sand. Uh, the sand. So I'm going to start with this color up here. The other important thing is opacity. For my background, I used about 70, 65, 75% opacity. And I will try to tell you the opacity that I use as we go through this. Um, if you get it really dark, it's hard to put another color over top. So pencil, we're going to be using pencil a little bit for some details. Uh, calligraphy pen goes thick to thin. This is my favorite tool that we're going to use. The reason it's my favorite, the marker tool, is you can go full out on your size up here. And I didn't talk about size, but you can go all the way. Um, make your size big and you can finger paint. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing finger painting. So this is your chalk tool. It makes a nice texture. I just want you to see this, that it makes a nice texture. I'll show you the marker also. Um, we'll look at our pencil. Now, you know, if you do the pencil, you know, you're going to get a thin little line. And of course, there's eraser and you can go in erase. But my favorite for correcting mistakes is undo, 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 undo. And of course, the opposite of undo is redo. So, you know, if you have a color you put in that you don't like, remember these two little buttons. They're really quick, so much quicker than the eraser. But if there's a little detail you want out, the eraser might work. All right, so let's just go ahead and hit undo. It's good to use our tools. And we're going to start our composition. When we start our composition, I went ahead and picked my yellow. I like to divide the screen. You're going to divide your screen in one third, two thirds. Why one third, two thirds? Well, that's the composition I learned in art college. If you divide things in half, the only times you should divide things in half if you have siblings or children, two children. Um, otherwise, you should never divide things in half because the composition is not as strong. So I have put in my sand. I'm going to go back and pick my chalk tool. I'm going to pick some orange for over top of that. I want a, I think I want a brighter brighter orange and then I can go in with my chalk tool. You'll see I'm doing all this with my finger. So the fun thing is you're doing this with your finger. Um, no mess. And look how this puts a texture for the sand. Do you see that? That's why I love that chalk tool because it puts in a texture. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go back to the marker tool. I'm going to change colors. I like to put a little coral. Now your coral can go off the page. We encourage that. Makes your composition look bigger. Uh, you don't want this to be even. Once again, you don't want it to, to be symmetrical. So I'm going to put another little piece of coral in here. Uh, 
Uh, notice I'm getting a little gray in it now. Um, I am not staying in the lines. Do you see this? Don't stress if you go a little out of the lines because remember this is opaque enough that we can go over this in a minute. I'm going to go to a slightly thinner line and I can outline this. Look how I cover up those little white areas. Just a piece of cake. And I can outline this. Look how I cover up those little white areas. Um, and you can put some little textures in there if you want to. So you still get to see the color of your coral, but you're adding in a little variety. Now there's, there's still some fudge pieces in there that you can go back and play with, with the blue later if you want to. I'm not going to do that. We're going to, we're going to move on. I want to put some details in my coral. I want to use my pencil tool. I like a dark brown, sort of a red brown, orange brown. You know, there's a green brown. I think I'm leaning towards these though. So you can go through the colors and pick your brown. So with your little pencil tool, so what do you think I should do? I think I should make my opacity even darker. That's what I think I should do. And I might even go back to the marker because I want a slightly bigger size. Maybe not that big. All right, so you can go back in and you can create some texture, a little bit more texture in your sand. You can do dots, dashes. You don't even have to really think about it. Anything you don't like, you just go to the undo button. I'm gonna go really light on this, big on the size. And I just wanna put like a front layer that sort of darkens my sand. Do you see that? Do you see how that works? If you wanna put in little highlights, that's great too. Uh, that would be a much lighter color. Let's go back to palette for that. You can pick out a nice bright yellow and look at that. You can put some highlights on there. So this is the ocean. So as a last and final step in our ocean, you can make all kinds of squigglies. I think the more layers, the better. I think it makes it look more like sand and just blends and blends and blends. Go to 25% opacity. Do you remember that? I remember that. Look at that. How cool is that? It looks like the waves are flowing right over your piece. And that's what we like. So your picture is done. So you go up here, we talked about the layers. You wanna to go to the three little dots. Tap the three little dots. You wanna export your drawing. And you can save it right in your, I'm gonna hit save. And there it is, we're ready to go. We um, just made our background, which is this one. And now we're gonna make a fish similar to this. But I'm gonna do a different color. Um, your art is all about color. So we're gonna go to new drawing. You need a bright, dark color. We talked about this. Your bright, dark colors are up here in this corner. 
if you want things to pop out and show up. If you want things to blend in, go down here, get light and darker colors because they blend into the background. Okay, so we're going to start our fish. I'm going to start with my marker because that's the best for finger painting. I want more opacity. I want at least 75%. So let's try this fish a different way. Let's try the body and then let's add the tail to it. That works. Going to put his little fins on. Uh, we can go in. I want a larger size for this part. I'm just going to cover up his fin because I know that I'm, I'm going to come back in and put some details in. Now remember last time when I said I didn't like the eraser that much, it was much easier to do the undo and do button? Well, I might want to go in and use my eraser a little bit here in a minute, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pick some blue to show the scales on my fish, and I'm going to pick up my pencil and make my fish eye. And then, we, and then we could go back and put in his scale texture. Um, some people like to do the letter C. That's fine, the backwards letter C. Unless your fish is going that way, that it would be frontwards. Um, you can do a curvy line like this, and it looks great. So we're going to go, I like to do a little bit of variety on my fish. I'm going to go back and try to pick up like a silver color. I'm going to change the opacity, go go to the marker, check my size, I'm happy with all that. I want to put, and see that's a little dark. Sometimes you don't know till you try. I'm going to go back to opacity. I'm going to go about 20%. And you can barely see that. Do you see how you can barely see that? Isn't that great? Now, you see I've got these fuzzy little lines. I'm going to pull my eraser out because I, because I want to clean those edges up. So that is when the eraser is really great. I want to put a little purple in my fish. I'm going to use my marker tool this time. Gonna go pretty opaque, pretty small, and I'm gonna work on his eye a little bit. We're gonna go to layers. We're gonna pick the eyeball beside the bucket. So this makes your fish sort of like your foreground and this layer part is now the background and you're going to want to save it this way so we go up to our three dots we click we export drawing go to google drive my drive we'll call him um, fish 2 and hit save And we are done. We're ready for the next step.